Hello guys, my name is Sura and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my favorite Asian dramas and animes of, of 2019. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First, let's talk about my dramas and let's start with Asian dramas and then we will move to anime at the end. And so let's start first with Great Men Academy. Great Men Academy is not the best drama, but still, I really, really enjoyed it. It is a Thai lacorn. It says from Thailand, and it starts my baby James. He is so cute, and Ice Paris and Jailer. And I know only their Instagram names because their Thai names are so hard. But it's about a girl who runs into this unicorn it's fantasy in the middle of a forest and she helps him and the unicorn is like i can grant you one wish and she, the only thing that she wants is she wants to tr uh, find true love and all of a sudden the unicorn changes her into a boy who is played by james and she is so confused uh, but her best friends tell her this is a chance you have to take it why don't you enroll into the great men academy which is like academy or school for really rich kids and rich boys and so she enrolls and slowly she starts to discover who is truly her love and it's about gender and sexuality and it's so good honestly thailand does bl the best just really adorable and it's not that long and if you can binge it in a day and it's Highly, highly recommend. Do please watch. And the next, my the next drama that I want to talk about. This is another dialogue corner. This is I hate you, I love you, starring Jailer again and Pun Pun Sutata and uh, and Sanata. I think her name is. I'm I, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering all of these names. But uh, Pun Pun plays this really rich girl who has everything and everyone. And Jailer is her boyfriend. And she started doubting that her that jailer that her boyfriend is cheating on her with her best friend, and she starts investigating what is really going on. And the next day, she is found dead in her car. And you follow the story from there. It's five episodes, and each episode is from perspective of one uh, of the actors or one of the heroes or heroines of the story. The first episode is starting from Monsutasa, where you at the end find her dead on from all different perspective of the people in the, her life and the end you find out what's really going on and who killed her and it's really good it is short but intense the intensity of their emotions what's really going on um, that surprised me and this is why i think it is like one was one of my favorite series of uh, 2019 the soundtrack was really good as well and i just i really really enjoyed it i highly recommend it if you it's another series where you can binge it in a day and the next drama that i want to talk about is it was it's one of my favorite no it wasn't actually uh, it was one of my favorite dramas. I think it, be will, it became one of my favorite dramas of all time, and not only 2019, and that is Strangers from Hell, starting Lee Dong Wook and Siwon. I think his name is Siwon, yeah, he's from Zia. It's about Siwon, or I don't remember his name, his character's name, who is just moving from Busan to Seoul. He is uh, really poor and stuff like that, and he's looking for an apartment that is really cheap and he finds one in like a share house or some kind it's like you know a building and each like the apartment is only one room and everyone in the apart in the apartment building like shares the same bathroom and they dine or eat together and stuff like that and their apartment is like only place they sleep in like it's only like a bed but he moves into that place even though it looks like hell uh, but he really needs to save on money and he's just starting a new job in Seoul and finally he's living in the same like city with his girlfriend who's, uh, who's like his childhood sweetheart and everything is looking up and then this weird shit starts happening in that apartment building and uh, people start dying and uh, it's so good it is a horror drama that is really intense it, I think this role was the best role Lee Dong Wook has ever took. The creepy dentist, psychopath. Such a good role. It's such a good role for him. Like that is the best role he has ever took. He looked so good playing that role, and he, he was as beautiful as ever, you know. And Siwon, I really, really, really loved his acting. The cute little boy, and who is so innocent, but then not. I, I highly recommend it. Like it became seriously one of my favorite dramas. Please, please watch it. It's not long at all. It's only 12 episodes long, and it is produced by OCN. So you have that dark, 
atmosphere, you know. And the next drama that was really and absolutely fantastic is Unnatural. It's a Japanese, it's a Japanese drama starting Masata uh, Kakubota and Ishihara Satomi. Uh, this wasn't actually released in 2019, but still, I watched it in 2019, and it was so good. It's about Ishihara Satomi, who is a medical examiner, works in uh, like an institute, a private institute for medical examiners, where they are hired to find out about unnatural deaths and if you think like a relative or someone died in a natural way you can hire them so they can find out how this person really died all the episodes all like the cases were really really very interesting the story of her of the character Shar Sadami plays is really incredible she survived like a family suicide when she was younger uh, the chemistry between her and Masataka Kobota was so good like I shipped them from the first episode uh, the mysteries were so good the serial killer like the plot twist at the end no one does medical and mystery or detective stories like Japanese dramas they're just so good and uh, very very intriguing and interesting uh, please please do check it out if you have the time it's not long as well it's I think 10 or 11 episodes uh, the last two dramas that I watched and finished in 2019 were Extraordinary You which really became one of my favorite dramas ever it is so good it's very it's because the story is very weird like I've never watched anything like it it's very it has a very original story and it's about it's played by Lee Jae Wook Rona from Astro and Kim Hae Yoon and it's about a girl who all of a sudden she starts like feeling weird and uh, she's losing some parts of her memory she wakes up and, uh, and finds herself on different places she's going crazy she discovered that it's actually part of a comic and this all her world is just part of this comic book and she thinks that she is the heroine of the comics but then at the end of the episode she finds out that she's just an extra who her role is to uh, make the two heroes or the hero and the heroine of that comic get together like that she that's all she does like she's just a love bridge for these uh, two you know like how shoujo manga works and shoujo webtoons and slowly she works to make herself be the hero or the heroine of the story because if she doesn't she thinks that she's going to die because in the story she's portrayed as a person who has a heart disease and we all know how these like side characters end at the end and it is so freaking good and uh, yeah and the last drama that i want to talk about it is another korean drama and this drama seriously seriously it was it became like one of my top five dramas Ever, it is Gatch the Ghost starting Kim Sonu and Moon Gyun Young and Ki Du Hoon, and it was so so good. It's about a woman who loses her twin sister in a train station, and her sister has autism, and she has been looking for her for the past two years to the point where she memorized the whole subway system of uh, of Seoul, and she's going crazy looking for her, and so she decides that she's going to join to join the subway police so that she can find her sister, who she believes was killed by a serial killer who has been killing people like inside of the subway station and leaving their bodies on the trains and slowly her and the like chief of the subway police in that area Kim, who's played by Kim Sonu starts unraveling the secrets and finding out what's really happening the chemistry between her and Kim Sonu was so freaking good like it was incredible like wow like I made so many MVs by the way I have another channel where I make drama MVs please do follow uh, I made so many MVs for them one of them actually got viral and I got more than 55,000 views but anyway uh, I really loved it uh, the chemistry between them please please watch it like well I don't, I don't understand why didn't a lot of people watch it as well like in in, the, in 2019 I didn't see like a lot of people talking about it it's really good like I loved it I loved it so much and it's really 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 good it's 16 episodes not that long and now let's talk about the anime the anime my favorite anime of 2019 i actually didn't watch a lot but the ones i watched were really really good first of all i watched the promised neverland you all know i watched it it is so good it's about a group of kids who are all in this uh, orphanage and they have their mama in the orphan who is such a cutie and everything is good and uh, 
that's all I'm gonna say because it's best you go in blind honestly it's, it's 12 episodes I think it's very short I really need season 2 ASAP like right now please give it to me they said it's going to be released in 2020 and we still don't know anything about oh yeah oh yeah they said it's going to be released at the end of 2020 so I have still have a year to go <laughs> Uh, but it was so good. It is a horror, mystery, uh, thriller enemy that is horror done at its best. I really enjoyed it. Another enemy on this list that I really, really enjoyed and loved, and it is Kimitsu no Yaiba. It made me cry every single episode, but I do cry uh, watching Shonen. It is about uh, Tanajiro who is uh, just, you know, uh, a very cute little boy, first of all. And second of all, he has never been a fighter. He has always worked his ass off to help his family, uh, his five siblings and his mother. And they live on the top of a mountain where there's a lot of snow and they are really, really poor. And he's trying his best selling coal and stuff like that and wood to try and help his family. And then he goes back home after a day of work and he finds his whole family dead except his little sister and so he runs trying to help her and then his sister starts attacking him and you find out that his whole family was eaten by a demon and his sister was turned into a demon and then you follow the story from there where he is trying to first change his sister back into being a human and take revenge on the demon who ate his family it's not an original story but still I really really enjoyed it I loved it it was very emotional and I adored it please go watch it the next anime that I want to talk about is Given please go watch Given right now if you haven't watched Given what are you doing with your life Given it is about Mafiu who is the cutest little pumpkin who has just moved into this school uh, who's a high school student and he finds a one day this guy is sleeping and he's like uh, he knows that he's in a band or something and he's like can you teach me to play guitar and slowly they start a band together and it is so good and so much more than that and there is a lot of secrets that mafia is hiding and it is emotional and like i don't know what more to say like i'm really looking forward to the manga that is going to be released this year or next month i think the first volume and the enemy is only 12 episodes long please watch it it is bl it is so good it is so emotional uh, i loved it i loved given and the soundtrack was so good as well like all of these enemies had such incredible soundtracks and the last enemy i want to talk about i think you all know what the answer is because i've talked about this for 12 times or like 100 times already like you know what I'm gonna talk about don't you like you know it is all maidens in your savage season if you still don't know and this is your first video you watch from me I'm sorry if I am so intense but it is my favorite enemy of 2019 and the manga is also one of my favorites of 2019 as well this enemy talks about a group of girls in the literature club who started discovering new things about themselves about their sexuality about who they are about their love lives and uh, the boys that surround them it is so good, so good. It is a coming of age story uh, that is really relatable and I uh, really loved it. It is such a good story and I really want you to go and watch it. Yes, these were my favorite Asian dramas and enemies of 2019. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alcohol Ajikto ne kakutel